All right, this will be a joyous one to call. The Citadels, Undrak Bayar, Hishigneum. Say that 15 times over without getting tongue twisted. And Ohio State University's Hunter Steber. Hishigneum and Steber in a consolation final for third and fourth place at 141. Wow, quickly a takedown. Four seconds in for Hunter Steber. I guess Steber not very happy about the happenings of a night ago. He's taking it out on his opponents today. I guess Steve, go ahead. Steber came into the championships. Your number one seed was upset last night in the semifinals by Edinburgh's Mitchell Port. So already two takedowns, Brock Height, and he's got Hishigneum loaded up for more. It's four to one to score. We've not even wrestled 40 seconds. Does he have two more? Wow, look as though there might have been some two fall near, you know, two near fall met there. Nothing says our official. And Hishik names away for escape. 4-2 lead for Steber. One minute into our opening period. Steber already with two takedowns. So four to two our score. As we near the midway mark of our first period, we're live from Wells Fargo Arena on Live Sports Radio. I'm Benjamin Hupke, joined alongside from Lewistown, Pennsylvania, native and former Bloomsburg guy in Brock Height. I guess we were on TV, huh, 125? Don't like to be on TV that way, but yeah. <laughs> geez, at least we're alive. Not the way you want to make it there. Here's Undrak Bayer, Hishigneum, and Hunter Steber. Head in the hole for Ishigneum and good defense from Hunter Steber. After two quick takedowns for Steber, the match pace has slowed a little bit. Near the one minute mark, four to two remains the score for Hunter Steber. Low leg attack by Ishigneum and good defense from Hunter Steber. Little brush by on the edge, but Fortunately for Hishigneum, they were out of bounds. Steber very good with that rubber knee defense. Turn the knee in, kicking the laces away. You had better bring it back. <laughs> Mr. Johnson, one of our outstanding officials, just stole my bracket sheet. Down inside, 30 seconds to go. We're going to get a quick stalemate call. We'll go back to the neutral position. Four to two for Hunter Steber. Steber locked in on another single here. Can he turn the corner and go right? He has 20 seconds to secure himself a takedown. And a deep wizard coming from Hishigneum. Hunter Steber trying to climb up the back door. There's two for Hunter Steber. And a 6-2 first period lead for Hunter Steber. Important points there. At the end of the period, he takes a two-point lead, makes it a four-point lead right at the buzzer. Hunter Steber's choice to begin the second. He elects to go down. Steber to his feet right away. Hishkneem looking to lift. Drops to an ankle to return. Steber to Matt Steber back up to his feet. Well, this has gone on a little bit longer than normal as Hishkneem from rear standing and right down to a tripod comes Hunter Steber. 30 seconds in, same position. We'll get a stalemate call. And a fresh restart from the referee's position. Hunter Steber will start from the bottom. 131 remaining in the second. Six to two our score. Short sit out, forthcoming from Steber. Gonna go right back to a stand up. Hand fighting, Hishigneum. And he's out for one, seven to two, Hunter Steber. 
Tiber preserves eight seconds riding time advantage. Boy, he just gets in a very methodically. It almost appears very softly on those single leg shots. It, it's probably very deceiving as you're wrestling him. Uh, that what, what you're probably expecting probably does not happen. Steber looks to be coming in on that sweep single, and he gets there very often. We go down inside one minute, 48 seconds to be exact, remaining in our second period. They're going to go out of bounds. Seven and two the score for the Ohio State Buckeye and Hunter Steber. He was seated number one, ranked number two. Or vice versa, I believe he Seated was. Seated one, ranked two, that one oh, is correct. Somewhat of a shock in terms of the seating coming to the tournament. I thought from the forefront that Kendrick Maple was the guy to beat, and he very well may be, because he is in the final tonight, but. Eighteen seconds to go here. Undrak Meyer, Hishigneum, Hunter Stieber. Seven to two for Stieber. Down inside 10 cents of our second period. Kind of a pretty cool singlet there on the part of the Citadel's Undrak Meyer, Hishigneum. Gotta like it. So Hishigneum's choice to begin the third, he elects to go down. Two minutes on the docket. In this third and final period at 141 for third and fourth place right now, a match being led by Hunter Stieber. Hishigneem to his feet. Stieber drops the low ankle. And we get our stalemate. So a quick stalemate called you 16 seconds into our third. And we're back underway. Seven to two for Stever. Now make it seven to three. Hunter Stever, Brock is so long that he almost like puts his paw print, and then he just it's like a shot reshot. Right there it is exhibited. A quick takedown. I mean cat like quick. It's now nine to three. Able to take that low leg double. Catching the ankle, clean finish for Stieber. So good work by Hunter Stieber as we near the one minute mark. Third and final period at 141. Nine to four remains the score. Riding time is not a factor here for third and fourth place between Hunter Stieber and Undrak Meyer Hishigneum from the Citadel. And nice work by Stieber on the edge. I believe that was a little elbow pass, wasn't it? Uh, he came over top the collar. He, he went over tie on the right-hand side, past the elbow to a single leg. And, and Hishigneum's going to be worn on the kickout. New rule implied. Out of bounds they go. Nice low leg attack from Stieber. Same attack he converted on earlier this period. That low double leg for Hunter Stieber catching the far ankle. Just very impressed with Hunter Stieber and he's just a true sophomore. He's net redshirted during his tenure at Ohio State. With the riding time on the clock, an impressive 12 to four major decision for Hunter Stieber over the Citadels under Mr. Hishigneum for third and fourth place for the Buckeyes.